Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie and I'm back with another Marvel Contest of Champions video. And I recently put out a poll on Twitter and on um, my YouTube channel as well. Well, this channel. <laughs> um, regarding how the, th there are areas of the game that I feel like need improvement. And I wanted to hear from you guys, what areas of the game do you think needed the most improvement? And so I broke it up between, I wish I could add more than just four on Twitter, but unfortunately it only allows you to add four options, which I think is unfortunate. But anyway, I digress. So um, I said War in AQ, Story Quests, Arena, and the monthly um, AQ, or event quest, excuse me. And for the most part, it seems like you guys have said that at the time of this video, the poll is still going on um, as I record this, but um, for the most part, it's War and AQ and Arena need the most improvement. And then I asked, you know, how you guys would improve them because I have my own kind of thoughts on how certain aspects of the game could be improved. Um, but we'll get into that after I go over some of yours. So, you know, we've got some people waiting on Throne. Um, then you've got the auto-complete for all monthly EQ difficulties, except the two highest ones, which for players to access. And I really like this. I would really like a auto-complete for the monthly event quest for like uh, normal and heroic and maybe even master. I don't know. Master is kind of fun just to go through for giggles and, and that sort of thing. But for normal and um, heroic for like uh, cavalier, uncollected cavalier and throne breaker, I think that would be a huge step. Even masters for uh, cavalier and, and throne breaker, I think would be a, a big step just to kind of get those easy, easy units and stuff. Um, then you have basic game mechanics, uh, war spoils. So how many units, uh, glory revives, pots boost your opponent spent trying to beat your alliance. This is not award points to reward a win, but the more point, the more your opponent use, the more of those kinds of rewards, uh, each winning alliance member gets out a win. That's kind of an interesting concept. That's kind of an interesting concept. Um, then of course, big one, arena, arena, arena. There is no need for building a streak. I agree. There should it be put a boost on the champs to finish the fights faster. And for the love of Emma Frost, I love that Lakers, remove the death matches. I should be able to use all my five stars at rank one without um, <clears throat> mixing it with a rank three. Uh, I agree. I don't think death matches should occur in arena. Um, I 100% agree on that. I feel like if, a, if an arena states that I can use four or five and six stars, I should use any, be able to use any combination at any level of any star level and not have to worry about getting a death match. So I agree 100% there. Um, three day arena should be health based. If you kill a champ, it won't be available until next arena. I don't really like this. Um, while in concept, it could be good for, you know, champs like Corvus and Mojo and Aegon and that sort of thing. But that could lead into some really risky situations or un unwanted situations. So while in theory, that would be a really good concept, I don't think it would play out as well as you might think. More aggressive arena AI, yes. <laughs> war win crystals, uh, win a war, then open the war win crystal and um, out pops an arena point boost or a sig stone. Jeez, that's so satisfying. Yeah, th th those definitely need to be better. I haven't done war in a long time, so I can't speak too much on war, but I can speak on some other aspects of the game. And there goes on and whoops, they go on and on. Um, um, I think like this one, <clears throat> um, logging in four times a day to do the same fights is very boring. There is one, um, basic ISO during each month that would be nice to kind of jack it up a little bit based on the progression that you are. No link nodes that connect other paths with slow progression. Add unique buffs is done in event quests and incursions. Be player friendly. They kind of did that right with Apocalypse, uh, with mutants on your team, but I would like to see maybe more of those added in. War, scrap it, create some kind of new boss rush raid format. That would actually be kind of a nice step up, right? Uh, it's not worth the, people are finding that war is not worth the stress. Um, massive quality of life changes for AQ, less pass, shorter, no link nodes. Um, I, my uh, alliance, we're, we're pretty good at finishing map seven, but we don't do epic modifiers and our prestige isn't very high. So, you know, it's fairly easy for us. Um, <clears throat> And then we got uh, take AQ links away would be nice for everyone. Takes less time. Um, that would be kind of nice. But, you know, I, I like this idea of uh, cut it down a day. You know, cut AQ down a day. Maybe do it three or four days instead of five. Five is awfully long. <laughs> and I'm kind of bad about <laughs> logging in at specific times. So um, get rid of all the BS nodes in war. <laughs> no more defense cheese because that's no fun. So uh, there were a lot, right? There were a lot. But um, 
there are a lot of things I feel like Kabam could do to vastly improve um, some of these aspects of the game. And you guys did come up with a ton of really good ones. Now, for Arena, I do think Arena needs to be revamped. Um, we're kind of still waiting on it. They said they were going to revamp it during the Dev Diaries. And I know life got crazy there for a while, right, with COVID and everything. And, and they're working on a lot of stuff. So, um but arena is a big one that needs to be done because it's it's one way it's the main way if you think about it really for free to play players to really get the units to purchase items in game so um to make arena less daunting and just you know kind of going through the motions would be nice but um you don't want to make it something so hard that it completely negates the whole free to play concept um for those players so monthly event quest uh monthly event quest i feel like Especially for Cavalier difficulty, I would like to see new nodes. I feel like we're getting, we get the same nodes um, month after month and it gets kind of boring. So I, and I know it takes a lot to develop, um, to go into and, and do a node and that sort of thing. So, but I, I would like to see kind of some newer nodes added and then ones that also benefit the players more to make the fights more fun um, because they are really large health pools. The fights aren't themselves very difficult, but the health pools are kind of big and cab difficulty. So having some sort of like really fun node added on would I think make, make Cavalier a lot um, better. Uh, story quests, so, you know, we do know that 7.2 is going to be coming sometime, right? The beta wasn't long ago, so it should be here relatively soon. Um, but AQ and war, so like I said, I don't I don't really do war, so I can't really speak too much of it, but I do know that people, it, it, war kind of stresses people out and is one of the main reasons for burnout on this game, you know, because you're constantly logging between war and AQ and everything else. You're constantly logged into this game. So um, I think maybe something along the lines of having to maybe log in less, Ooh, I said it <laughs> would kind of help with the, the burnout a little bit. So, but anyways, guys, that's all that I got. Let me know in the comments below, how would you improve certain aspects of this game? What parts of this game would you like to see improved upon and how would you do it? Let me know in the comments below and let's discuss as always, guys, thanks so much for watching and enjoy this quick word from Kevin Smith. Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith, and if you enjoy the mediocre MCOC video full of scrub gameplay, then show Katie some love by hitting like and subscribe, man. Katie don't ask for much. Katie did ask for this. Katie did. So, do like Katie did and bug people and get you to like and subscribe, man. She's been doing that MCOC beautifully. Not mediocre. Katie!